Every time we look up at the night sky, we see countless twinkling stars. Some stars are only a few light years away, while others lie hundreds, thousands, or even over 10 billion light years distant, made visible to humanity thanks to the Hubble and James Webb Space Telescopes. It sounds overwhelming, but there's an important truth. The universe we see is not the present, but only the past. The light from those celestial objects has taken a very long time to reach our eyes. In fact, at this very moment, what they really look like is unknown. Light is both the bridge that lets us see the world and something that deceives us. It takes time to travel. Before the 17th century, people believed light moved instantaneously. It wasn't until 1676 that Ulrömer proved light has a finite speed by observing Jupiter's moons. In 1849, Fizeau measured light speed in a laboratory at around 315,000 kilometers per second very close to the modern accepted value of roughly 300,000 kilometers per second. Once we understand that light isn't instantaneous, we realize everything we see is the past. The farther away something is, the greater the delay. For example, light from the sun takes about 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach Earth. So every time we look at the sun, we're seeing it as it was over 8 minutes ago. If the sun disappeared, Earth wouldn't know for 8 minutes and 20 seconds both light and gravity travel at that speed. Beyond the solar system, this effect is even more pronounced. The closest star, Proxima Centauri, is 4.22 light years away, so we see it as it was over four years ago. The galaxies captured by Webb and Hubble are billions of light years away, meaning we're seeing the universe in its infancy. The star-filled sky is a map of the past. Some of the stars we admire may have long since died, for example, the Pillars of Creation, about 7,000 light years away, are thought to have been destroyed roughly 6,000 years ago. But the light from that destruction is still on its way to Earth, so we still see them intact. Because of the limits set by the speed of light, unless we're right next to something, we can never see its present. The universe we observe will always be an illusion of the past. And perhaps, as long as light exists, the past will always be there waiting for us to discover it.